Hey guys and welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to create a sticky widget in WordPress sidebar in three different ways, CSS, a plugin and Elementor. Plugins for WP, WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. All right, so let's start with the first method by using CSS. First of all, we'll need to add the widget. So we'll go to appearance widgets and here we'll add an image that we'd like to make sticky uh, here at the bottom. So I will choose the image from my library and I will save the changes. All right, here I will refresh the page and I can see the new widget that was added all the way to the bottom. However, it is not sticky and we would like to make it sticky so it can keep rolling with the page. All right, so the CSS method that I will show you right now will work perfectly fine with any theme that supports the Flexbox. In our example, I will use the Generate Press theme because it's perfectly fine and it supports the Flexbox. However, other themes such as Ocean WP are using the float layout and they require more complex CSS and that's why we will use the plugin in our second method. But with this theme, we can use simple CSS and there are two conditions that need to be met. First of all, the sidebar need to take the full height of the content next to it. So let's inspect the elements and I can see that the sidebar does take the full height of the content next to it. However, when we go down the DOM, I can see that the inner sidebar doesn't and we'll need to fix it. So first of all, let's copy the inner sidebar class and then we'll need to apply the CSS to it. We'll click on customize and then we'll go into the additional CSS. And because we target a class, we'll start it with a period and then the class name and we'll uh, type in height 100%, just like so. Once we enter the CSS, we can inspect it once again from this screen, that's fine. Uh, we'll go up the dome and we can see that the outer section take the full height as long with the inner section, which is good. Now we'll need to target the widget that we would like to make sticky. Uh, we can target it by class or ID, but because we can have multiple widgets with the same class, in this case, it's better to target it by its ID. And we can see that the ID called block-3. So first of all, let's copy the ID. We'll start it with hashtag because it's ID and we'll enter our CSS and you can get it from the written blog post. You have the link in the description box down below. We already did the height 100% CSS, so let's move on to this one. And this one will make the widget sticky. So once we copied it, let's paste it over here and we can test it. We can see that it's scrolling up and down the screen with our browser. Excellent. All you need to do is just to publish the content go to your live website, refresh the page, and make sure it's sticky. Now, as you can see, it's stuck all the way to the top. If you want to create a gap, just change the top value from 20 to anything else, like 80, and you can see that it's creating a gap or margin between the top and the widget itself. All right, on our second method, we will use a theme that supports the float layout, such as Ocean WP and we would like to make this widget here on the right sticky. And the simple CSS won't work and we need something more complex because we have thousands of themes, it's gonna be hard to provide you with the right CSS. Therefore, we'll use a plugin called WP Sticky Sidebar. We'll install it and then we'll activate it. And this plugin is super easy to use. We'll need to provide the plugin with two elements. One of the elements is our widget and the second element is the container that holds both content and sidebar. So let's start with the first element that we'll need to provide him with, which is the widget that we would like to make sticky. So let's inspect it one more time. We'll climb up the dome till we get into the element. And this is the ID, we already know it, it's block3. We'll keep the hashtag there and we'll uh, call it block3. And now we will need to find the ID or the class of the container that holds both content and the sidebar. So 
let's climb up the dome till we get into that div and the one that hold both content and sidebar called container-row so we will copy it add the hashtag here and we'll paste it then we can change the offset from 90 to any other number to create that gap we'll save the changes then we'll come back to our website refresh it and now we'll see that the widget is sticky and scroll down and up with us all right and finally i will show you how to do it with elementor and i created a layout where the content is on the left and the sidebar is on the right and would like to make this sticky widget sticky so we'll go into this element and into the advanced tab and here we will expand our motion effects tab and we'll change the sticky option from none to top then you will scroll down you can see that the widget got stick to the top which is great if you would like to add some space change the offset value to any other number and you will create the margin between the top and the widget itself let's just save the changes refresh the page we can test it and we can see that it works very well now in some cases the widget may hide parts of the footer if that's the case with your design just make sure to toggle the stay in column option and that will fix the issue the widget will stay inside the sidebar and won't affect other elements outside the sidebar all right guys so thank you very much for watching this video please let me know if you have any questions regarding the process by leaving a comment down below please also like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way I will see you all in the next video.